Hi, my name is Ross Crane. I've been a uh, well log analyst for uh, more than 50 years, although uh, I've taken a few side trips into other aspects of the oil and gas industry, like uh, seismic data processing, uh, cash flow analysis, reservoir engineering, and so on. But log analysis or petrophysics has always been my first love, and I uh, practice it daily, even today, and uh, I've been teaching courses in log analysis since about 1978. This is uh, lecture 12 of your integrated petrophysical course. Uh, we're going to deal mostly with fractured reservoirs in anticipation of looking at carbonate reservoirs in the next lecture. If you'd like to read more about uh, this subject, you need to find uh, Crane's Fractured Reservoirs Reservoir Manual and uh, print that or uh, read it on the screen. You'll need the exercises from the end of that reference manual uh, at the end of this lecture. In this lecture we'll uh, first of all define what a fracture is and uh, what the uh, different parts of a fracture represent. That is the fracture itself, uh, fracture related porosity, and then the matrix porosity of the rock itself. Now we're going to look at what uh, might happen to open hole logs in the face of a fracture. Uh, most open hole logs will have some kind of artifact if there's lots of fractures. And uh, since we run open hole logs in nearly every well, it's uh, quite useful to go looking for the presence of fractures uh, on your open hole logs. We can of course run all kinds of uh, high quality logs for fracture identification, such as the uh, formation microimaging log, and the uh, televiewer logs, both of which uh, can identify fractures uh, very well. We'll also define a term called secondary porosity index, which is a log analysis term, and we'll compare it to the secondary porosity as seen uh, by geologists. We'll calculate fracture porosity and fracture permeability, and we'll calculate a thing called fracture intensity. This uh, is from open hole logs so that uh, we can get an idea of uh, just how many fractures might be present. And finally we'll look at uh, Dr. Aguilera's uh, dual porosity model. Uh, he even has a triple porosity model, which in fact makes more sense in the terms of uh, fracture porosity, fracture solution porosity, and matrix porosity. All three are present in most uh, fractured reservoirs, and so his triple porosity model uh, makes good sense. Enjoy yourself. It's quite an adventure, and I think you will learn a lot from my 50 years of experience. So have fun.